What are they so afraid of? Maybe they're scared that if they teach us how the world works, we'll figure out how to take over. Mm. Mm. Dickinson, starring Haley Steinfeld, is one of the first shows to hit Apple TV Plus when the streaming service launches on Friday. So, should you watch it? Here's what the critics are saying about the coming of age story that follows the iconic poet's teenage years as she falls in love with her best friend, who is engaged to marry her bland brother. For The Hollywood Reporter, Robin Barr describes the series as euphoria by way of little women, calling it a deliriously revisionist take on Emily Dickinson's youth that comes off as a reductive, overly metaphoric, and pseudo feminist appropriation of Dickinson's biography. And see CNN's Brian Lowry questions the decision to devote a series to this complex historical figure, then turn it into a knockoff of Riverdale. He also says Steinfeld is an appealing young star, but she deserves a better vehicle than this one. Oh my god, she's so insane. Of course she's insane, she's Emily Dickinson. But other critics had more positive things to say about the series. Times Judy Berman calls Dickinson the most promising show to come out of Apple TV Plus's initial lineup. While Berman says it's a bonkers show and kind of a mess, as it veers between empathetic depictions of its hero's struggles against the social norms of her time and slapstick humor, it's also never boring. And Collider's Ali Jimmel estimates that after its release, Dickinson is going to be the talk of the town, targeting fans of Big Little Lies as well as Pride and Prejudice, with a series that is feisty, youthful, queer, eccentric, a good time overall. She calls Steinfeld's casting one of the best calls I've been treated to in recent memory. Dickinson starts streaming on Friday with all 10 episodes available at the launch of Apple TV+. For more of what the critics are saying about Dickinson, head to th.com. Until next time, for The Hollywood Reporter News, I'm Tiffany Taylor.